Hi everyone, and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo Tutorials. My name is Zero, and let me fix this. Okay, my name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. So, this tutorial we are going to be working on the slink body sets. Um, everything that I show you here applies to the slink hourglass, the slink physique, and the slink physique male. So, I tested it out on all three bodies, and it all works. Now, this is before the, this kit is the pre-bento one so it doesn't have the bento hands um, included in this one and I also suggest that you work on this in Avastar 1 and not in Avastar 2 because when the people worked in Avastar 2 they were giving me a lot of complaints like it told you to update it and then it broke it so I suggest you stick down on Avastar 1 for this kit um, and I guess use Avastar 2 if you have the bento one, but I can't tell you how that one works because the, the kit I have is the pre-bento one. So um, everything that we use is going to be included in the description, so make sure you check that out. Um, I'm going to be using Blender 2.72, uh, Avastar 1.7.1, 1 .1, uh, the Slink 2006 dev kit. I think it might be from March or September, one of the two, I'll show you when we open it, and uh, see, Photoshop for texturing, you know, doing texturing, Marvelous Designer 2 for making the clothes, and I feel like I'm forgetting something else, but if it comes up, we'll, we'll talk about it, either way, everything I use is going to be down in the description, so make sure you download it and uh, load it up, and you can follow along with me. If you use a higher version of this stuff, then I can't really tell you how to do anything with it because I don't use that version. Everything that I use is kind of listed below. So please don't ask me, hey, I'm on Avastar 2 or I'm on Marvel Designer 6 and it doesn't look like this and it's behaving like that because I don't have those. I can't tell you. Alright, so now that we got that disclaimer out of the way. Oh, also, you can just... Yeah, I guess I'll say that in the next video. So now that I got that disclaimer out of the way, uh, let's actually dive into the tutorial. So I'll see you guys when we open up Blender.